What's going on guys, Killer6 back with another Top 5 in Borderlands 2 and today we're taking a look at 5 really well hidden things in Borderlands 2. These are things that are hidden in the game for you to find. Some take patience, some take a lot of enemy evolution, and some take a good old fashioned bit of legwork. So let's get right into it. And here we are at number 5! Coming at number 5, Michael Mamaril. One of the coolest homages in the history of video games is Gearbox's tribute to a fan who passed away far too young. Michael can be found randomly in Sanctuary in one of several locations. Having said that, finding Michael and talking to him can yield you some pretty decent gear, especially in normal and true Vault Hunter mode. Now I've already made a video covering all the locations and the tribute itself in better detail. You can find a link to that down in the description below or at the end of this video. Okay, here we are at number 4! Coming in number 4 is Tannis Rides the Fish. This hidden gem first appeared in Borderlands 1 and even reappeared again in the pre-sequel. To get this you need to head to Sawtooth Cauldron and make your way to the back of the map where the Threshers spawn. Here there are several barrels on the beach area near this shed. Shoot them in the falling order to make Tannis appear. Shoot the blue one, then the red one, then the green one, then the yellow one, and then the purple one. If you shoot them in that right order, Tannis will mount her fish and perform an amazing stunt show for you. Coming in at number 3 is Omd Om Ak, or Triple O as he's more commonly called in the community. He's a hidden boss who can be spawned by evolving badass savages via witch doctors. This can be done in a few areas, Skyless Grove, Wambam Island, and Hunter's Grotto while spawning Dexiduous. Triple O can drop the infamous Twister, the Interfacer Shotgun, and the Hawkeye, or a whole lot of nothing. He's also been known to drop the Breath of the Seraphs, and he can also drop legendary class mods. This enemy evolution is almost impossible to get solo, and it's very, very difficult to get with four players. Many Vault Hunters such as myself and Jolt Stew went years without even getting this guy to spawn, so if you're lucky enough to get him, I hope that you get something good from him, because I've had him drop nothing at all several times now. And here we are at number two! Number two is Geary. After beating the game on true Vault Hunter mode, you have the option to move on to Ultima mode. But before you do, you should head back to Claptrap's place to check the fireplace. Inside, you'll find a quest item that will begin what many people refer to as the Lord of the Rings Easter egg. Now, to complete this quest, you'll need to carry Geary's golden gear all the way to Iridium Blight without fast traveling, without using a vehicle, and without dying. The fastest route is Winshire Waste to Southern Shelf to Three Horns Divide to Three Horns valley to the dust to iridium blight now once you arrive geary will punch you once before jumping into the lava to kill himself as long as he punches you and then jumps into the lava you know you did it right if he continues to punch you you did something wrong and you gotta start all over again now assuming you did it correctly and geary jumps into the lava three giant rack will appear and drop chests containing better than average loot you can also come back and kill Geary over and over again in this exact same spot without having to do the Lord of the Rings challenge, and he will drop you specific heads that are only available through him. Honorable Mention! Honorable Mention is the developer's chest. Hidden on the outer edge of Tundra Express is a ledge that most people would never even think of jumping over, but if you take the leap of faith, you're rewarded with what many people refer to as the developer's chest. I've never gotten a legendary from it myself, but it is a good source for loot in normal mode when you first hit that area. Coming at number one is Vermivorous the Invincible. Now, much like the Triple O evolution, when you get into true or ultimate mode, Barkids can evolve into more powerful versions, culminating in an evolution into Vermivorous the Invincible, a super powerful raid boss with more health than Terramorphous. And just like Triple O, there are a few places where you can farm Vermi too. Caustic Caverns, the Tundra Express Farmhouse, and even in the Son of Cromorax Arena. Vermi is a massive enemy, often so big that his legs appear to pass through buildings and walls. Now, what makes this encounter a little less stressful than other invincible boss fights is you can use the entire area map to get cover, find ammo, and get second wins from other area enemies. Burmy on ultimate is exceptionally tough as his self-healing is capable of prolonging the fight to the point that you'll likely run low or out of ammo. Burmy is best fought with friends where it can be a fun yet challenging experience. Once defeated, Burmy can drop the highly sought after Norfleet or he can drop super disappointing nasty surprise or even one of the exclusive heads that are only dropped by him. So there you have it guys, that is my top 5 well hidden secrets in Borderlands 2. Let me know what your favorite secrets are in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video then please take a second to hit the like button. If you want to see more make sure you hit that subscribe and hit the little bell icon to be notified of new videos. Also if you're a fan of live streams be sure to check out the link in the description to follow me on Twitch where I stream almost every day. Thanks for watching guys, take care.